All right, guys, I'll make this short and sweet, but I gotta give you a snapshot of what's going on today. So today, I'm at this little kind of hidden secret type pond that I heard about last year. I went one or two times, it was a tough bite, but it was right in the dead heat of summer. I'm going in prime time right now and I'm gonna see if I can make something happen. Now, the conditions aren't completely favorable, but we're gonna go after it. I have a cold front coming in, it's about 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts of wind, and it's kind of raining. I'm waiting for it to blow over so I don't ruin all my camera equipment, but yeah, it's not the best conditions. I'm determined to go out and catch some fish though, and I have a couple tactics that I think are gonna work great. For one, I have a spinner bait. It's really good in wind, and I hope I can attract a fast moving bite that way. I have a crank bait, maybe I could get down a little bit. If there's any wood, if there's any weeds I could rip it through, I might be able to get a bite that way. We're gonna see if we can make something happen, guys. Just to give you a look of where I'm at, it's completely hidden. It's, this is a main road right here, and this tree line, just beyond this tree line's the pond. So, you would never know it's here, it's fenced in. So we're just gonna go and see what happens. Um, so, come on with me. Let's see what we can do. guys finally the first cast after waiting out all this rain I don't really know what to expect but I'm gonna try to catch a fish it's raining a little bit still but I think it might be okay I think it might be good enough to try to get something going got the spinner bait on right now all right nothing on the spinner bait so far so I'm picking up this square bill crankbait and I'm gonna see if I can get a bite there. Ooh, I got a hit. Ooh, ooh, I got a fish, guys. Oh, it popped off. Man. First action of the day. It was a small one, but that is encouraging that I got some signs of life in here. Jumping back over here on this little side of the pond. Seeing if I can find a fish. Ooh, there's one. Nailed it. Nailed it right out of the weeds. It's a small one, but that pumps me up, man. A small bass. Tiny, tiny bass, but really hit it hard, and hey, that is the first piece of the puzzle. I've had two hits on the crankbait, and one of those was a fish. So... No, not the size we're looking for, but there we go. I got a fish, so I'm looking at some other parts of the pond. Maybe I'll move to here soon, but great news catching a fish out of the weeds like that. Ooh, another one. Another one, man. Bringing it right through that shallow water. Again, very, very small bass. But just bringing the, bringing the crankbait right through the shallow, weedier type water. And they're popping right out from inside. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> popping right out from in those weeds. So 
that's a good sign though. I mean, yeah, these fish are anything but big. But considering a day like today where it's really cold, it's been cold for a couple days, it's rainy. I mean, I'm pleased to have caught two small bass. And you know, I'm just gonna kinda keep up this pattern for now and see if maybe one of these bass can be a little bit bigger for us. Things are slow. I'm throwing on the jerk bait. I'm confident in this lure. I won't say it's my last hope, but it's it definitely attracts bites when things get tough. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna see if this can get, get me some bites. You know what? I don't feel like walking around, so I'm walking right through this little bit of water. At this point, oh well, this water is freezing though. Oh my gosh. This is a little deeper than I thought to. But you know what, I've had enough. I have had enough. While I'm on this little island, I will throw this jerk bait with soaking wet shoes and see if I can catch a bass. Hey, a tiny fish. I didn't even feel him bite at all. That was the weirdest thing, man. I mean, literally, I thought that it was just weeds. I mean, that's the smallest bass I think I have ever caught in my entire life put together. But, I mean, literally, this is so hilarious. How did that even hit it? Oh, I feel, I think I got one. Oh, I got one. They're barely hitting it. Hey, this is a little bit better one. Hey man, check this out. I'm at a loss for words almost because I'm so cold, I'm so miserable. But hey, this is probably the best fish I've had all day for sure. It's still not big at all, but uh, Man, I, yeah, I don't even know what to say. After struggling for so long and you actually catch a fish that feels like something, I mean, it's extremely skinny. In fact, it really doesn't even look like a healthy bass at all. It's very small, but you know, he hit, he actually hit and there he goes. Oh, this is super deep. What's that? What is going on? You gotta be kidding me. Ooh, hit. I got bit really hard right there. And it's a tiny fish again. Oh my goodness. Another tiny fish. I mean, he actually bit really hard, but I mean, I just can't believe how tiny these little bass are. I mean, I just don't get how 
this pond can only produce fish this size. Man, well, I made it back to the car. I made it back alive. It was a tough day. You guys know that. I just wanted to show you guys this video because, you know, every day isn't an insane day where you go out and you catch a thousand fish. You might see that a lot on channels where people go out and they catch an insane amount of fish every single video they post. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not coming out here to not catch fish. I happened to have a tough day. I worked through the day. And I ended up coming up with like four or five really small bass. Now, I didn't get skunked, and I refused to get skunked. But I came out here after work, and I decided I'm going to try to figure out these fish in tough conditions in a body of water that I don't know very well at all. So I ended up ending with the jerk bait after I walked through water up to my past my ankles and <laughs> I ended up uh, throwing the jerk bait which I'm personally very confident in it's a great spring lure so you can't go wrong with the jerk bait it really attracts the reaction bites the reaction strikes so I would say when it's tough try a bunch of different things but you can't go wrong with a reaction strike type lure like a jerk bait. But hey guys, not every day is gonna be this tough. Most days that I go out of the water, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna catch fish. Please subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much for watching and be ready for some regular content. I'm planning on uploading at least three or four times a week. I wanna keep you guys with fresh, new, awesome content. So like I said, subscribe and thanks for all your guys' support. What a day.